Quentry Coder, a state-of-the-art open source model from Alibaba, just dropped yesterday, and it looks incredible in the benchmarks. In this coding benchmark called SweeBench, it's almost as good as Claude Sonnet and better than a lot of other open LLMs and closed LLMs, including Kimi K2, which just came out a couple weeks ago. In this video, we'll go over how Quinn 3 Coder works, how it was trained, and how you can get started with it today. Quinn 3 Coder is a 480 billion parameter model, but it's also what's called an MOE, a mixture of experts. And that means that even though it's 480 billion parameters, it only needs a small subset of those parameters to actually do inference on. So it has 32 billion active parameters and 160 experts. And if you contrast that with Kimi K2, Kimi K2 actually is more than double the size of Quinn 3 Coder. Uh, at 1 trillion parameters and 384 experts. So very impressive that Quinn 3 Coder uh, is, is better at coding despite being a smaller model. Let's talk about how this model was trained. Quinn 3 Coder was trained on 7.5 trillion tokens of data, uh, which is about half of Kimi K2 at 15 trillion. And 70% of this data was actually code uh, versus 30% just being other um, forms of data. What's also cool about this model is that a lot of this data, a lot of this code specifically was refined by the previous generation of Quinn 2.5 coder, where it kind of assessed uh, the, the best code to use to train Quinn 3 coder. Uh, what's also interesting about this model is that the context window is a lot bigger than the previous generation. So Quinn 2.5 coder had a, uh, I think it was a 32K uh, context window, but this one has a 262K token context window. So significantly larger. And uh, they said it was built with repo scale, uh, which means, you know, they wanted it to be uh, used and effective in large repos. Also, one thing to note, while Quinn 3 Coder is definitely super impressive because it's a lot smaller than Kimi K2 and a lot better, uh, it is specifically a coding model. So it's trained for one domain. We could do things like, you know, train it on 70% code, which you can't do that for Kimi K2 because you want it to be a general purpose model that can do a lot of different things. So to kind of show how big this 262K tokens is, I'm going to switch over to Cursor, go to one of my projects called Llama Coder that's a little bit big. You know, it has a bunch of different um, files. It's an open source repo as well. And we're going to run NPX repo mix to try to figure out how many tokens are in here. And so you can see there's 73,000 tokens, despite it being like a pretty decent sized code base, 89 files. Um, so uh, that's great that like this entire code base can fit within Quinn 3 Coder's context window. Obviously, there's enterprise code bases that are much, much larger, but uh, despite that, uh, a very great improvement over the last generation. So this is now one of the best coding models out there. So if you were using models like Kimi K2, DeepSeek V3, or the previous version of Quinn Coder, highly recommend you give Quinn 3 Coder a try. You can try it out on chat.together.ai or create an account on together.ai to get an API key and use it in your own AI applications.